Hi, my name's Renee, and I just wanted to have a little bit of a chat with you about getting started in work placement. You will need to complete 100 hours work placement in a school for this course. Um, you may already be working in a school and that's totally fine. You'll still need, still need to complete the workplace readiness assignment and log your hours. For those of you who've not been in a school since you actually went to school, it's important for you to find a school that you feel comfortable in and may like to work in um, at some stage. There are primary schools, special schools, high schools, um, Catholic schools, whatever's in your area and whatever school supports children with additional needs. Approach the school, some of you have called up to make an appointment or emailed through, and some of you have just popped in during quiet times of the day. Um, schools are very busy places, and sometimes it can take a little while for a school to get back to you. We suggest that you print out all the documents that you need, um, such as the workplace readiness assignment, and also the letter of introduction, and the log of hours, and also the certificate of currency that you can find in step two. And that's where you'll, you've been able to access this clip anyway. Have all those documents ready and take them in. You may like to give a resume as well, which will include information about um, previous experience that you have had um, and also ways that the school can contact you. Um, and that's a, a nice way. And it's also great for the school to have on file. Um, some of our students have gained casual work through their work placement, which is really positive for them. So see how you go. Let us know if you have any questions about getting started in work placement. We're always here to answer them and we hope that you find work placement to be a really valuable experience as you progress through the course. Thanks.